Okay, so today we're going to learn about the metric system. Um, you should have already learned about this, so we can start with some stuff you might already know. Um, like, how long is a yard? Because a yard's not metric, but I think you all have a pretty good idea. You know, three feet, you're probably holding your arms out like, dumb, Miss Bauer, it's this long. Um, a yard actually started out in Saxon times, so like the 1600s, as the length of the sash worn by the king. So this little red doohickey right here. Um, that's not a very accurate measurement. It doesn't really come from anything. Um, later, King Henry I decreed that a yard is the distance from the tip of his nose to his outstretched thumb. So go ahead and give yourself a thumbs up, stretch your arm out. I'm doing it, you can't see me. Um, and that would be the length of a yard, so based on the king. So again, not exactly accurate. Um, same thing with an inch. I know you're probably like, oh yeah, I know what an inch is, it's real little. Um, King Edward II declared an inch to be three barley corns, round and dry, lined up next to each other. A barley corn, that's right. What's a barley corn? Round, dry, like I don't know what any of that means. So it doesn't really make any sense. It all kind of came out of nowhere. Um, which you do need to know, none of that you need to know. In 1975, President Ford, Ford signed the Metric Conversion Act. Um, but actually, it made participation voluntary. So nobody really switched over from feet, inches, miles, whatever. Um, so we're pretty much the only country that doesn't use the metric system. Um, we aren't, in fact, the only one. There's three. So here's a map. So there's America. And then Liberia, right here. And then Myanmar, which used to be Burma. So um, us three, I think we're cool. Um, so, the metric system, what you need to know. Um, it's what we use to measure stuff. Um, you can use it to measure length, volume, mass, weight, time, which is seconds, so you already know that, and temperature. Um, length, the distance between two points, pretty straightforward. Volume, the amount of space taken up by an object. Mass, the amount of matter in an object. So not how much it weighs, but the amount of matter in an object, how much stuff there is. Um, weight is actually the measure of the force of gravity on an object. So your weight would be different on, say, the moon than it is on the earth. You'd weigh a lot less because there's a lot less gravity. But your mass would be the same. There's the same amount of stuff in you. Um, and then time, which is hard to define. It's the interval between two events. Because try to define time without saying time. It's really difficult. Um, and temperature, the hotness or coldness of an object. So you're probably pretty familiar with these things. Um, I'm sorry, this graphic is not that good. Um, this can go away, that would help. Um, so the metric measures length, mass, volume, weight, temperature. I didn't put time on there because I'm pretty sure you guys know that it's measured in seconds. Um, so length is measured in meters. The abbreviation is lowercase m. You use the meter stick to measure it. Pretty straightforward. Mass is measured in grams, the abbreviation of a lowercase g. Um, and you use a balance to measure it, okay, not a scale, because the scale is going to measure weight, and you'll see that two lines down. Um, volume, you use liters to measure. There should be a capital L there. I don't know what happened. And there should be a capital L, not lowercase, capital. Um, use graduated cylinder. You guys should have used those in sixth and seventh grade for sure. Um, weight, measured in newtons with a capital N, um, named after Sir Isaac Newton, um, who you should have learned about a little bit in seventh grade. Um, measured using a spring scale, and then temperature, which is measured in Celsius using a thermometer, just like you would in Fahrenheit, and what you're used to. Um, so, since these are the only measurements we use, um, the reason the metric system is cool is you can use prefixes to denote how many of them there are um, by factors of 10. So, instead of a gram, you could say if something was 10 grams, it'd be a decagram, and the abbreviation is a lowercase d, a lowercase a. The lowercase g so would be the unit, the g, so d-a-g, decagram. Um, if there's a thousand, thousand grams is a kilogram, that should be a lowercase k. Um, and if it's something really small, so like a meter, a meter stick, you know, it's pretty similar to a yard. Um, but if you were going to measure, you know, the width of a pencil, you probably wouldn't want to use a meter. You might use a centimeter, um, which is one one thousandth of a meter, or there's a hundred centimeters in a meter, or a millimeter, where there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. 10 millimeters in a centimeter, okay? So I'm going to leave this up for a second. Um, and then there's more um, for different factors. These are not the ones you need to know. These six are the one you need to know. So kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, milli. Um, and then these are ones that are just helpful to know. A giga, so like gigabytes, you probably hear a lot with computers, is a billion of something. So a gigagram would be a billion grams, or a gigaliter would be a billion liters. 
Um, mega is million. And then on the other side, micro, which is actually abbreviated with a lowercase mu, it's kind of this little curly Q thing, um, is one one millionth, so the opposite of mega. And then nano is one one billionth, or a lowercase n here. Um, so when I'm talking about things on the nano scale, you're talking about a billion times smaller than a meter, a nanometer. So we'll talk about that when we talk about atoms too. Um, that's pretty much all you guys need to know for now. Um, you can go back, replay this, pause it, make sure you have your notes down. I'll see you guys tomorrow.